welcome to my first live anything. So I'm on Instagram and Facebook at the same time. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and jump right in because I'm not going to talk for very long. Um, so what I wanted to talk about today was basically something that I feel like a lot of couples should be doing. Um, and I know some are starting to do it, but I feel like it's really kind of beneficial. I made a pros cons list that I'm going to go over, but um, there really aren't any cons which I think is kind of crazy in the wedding world. Um, so basically what I'm gonna talk about are faux exits or controlled exits. Um, basically it is where you still have those photos. Like everyone has like the, and I have an example, they have like the sparkler exit planned or the bubble exit or confetti or rose petals um, or even streamers I've seen. And they really want the photos. Um, I have one of my albums here. They want these photos right here, see? They want those photos. And you pay a lot of money to have a photographer there to photograph that. Um, but sometimes the dream photographer that you have is a little bit maybe out of your budget or is like right on par of where your budget is and you can only afford X amount of hours. Um, and say you can only afford eight hours but your reception is gonna go like two hours after that. Um, that is a great time to do a faux or controlled exit. Um, so basically what it is, there's like two different ways you can do it. Um, there's kind of three, but the third one is just extending your coverage. Um, the main ways you can do it is basically kind of midway during your reception, you grab everyone for like five minutes, head outside, light your sparklers, and basically do a faux exit where you run out and you get the pictures that you want, and then everyone runs right back in and still parties for like two more hours. Um, and your photographer, videographer, whoever else you have um, basically go home after that. Um, again, this is really beneficial if you can only afford X amount of hours and you're like, well, it's not really in the budget to extend, um, to pay for two more hours or pay for another hour or whatever like that. Um, so yeah, so you can either take everyone outside mid reception or you can just take, and this is the way that I really promote it, um, you just take your bridal party, who are generally your best friends, um, and your immediate family, and you go outside and you do your sparkler exit. Um, and none of the other guests know about it. And it's great, because it doesn't interrupt the party at all. Um, so I'm gonna go over a couple pros and cons, because I keep talking about them, but. Um, so basically the pros are you still get the photos. You still get these wonderful sparkler exit photos and they actually made it the cover of their album um, because they loved it and that's what they wanted. So you still get sparkler exit photos. Um, another pro if you just do your bridal party and your family is that you just have the people that you love in those photos. Um, I know I've, ha I've seen this a lot and I've had this happen kind of often during the sparkler exit photos that there's one random girlfriend or boyfriend that you're like, I literally have no idea. They were just a plus one. Like I literally have no idea who they are, but they're like right in the middle of the aisle with that sparkler waving it in our faces. Um, so a benefit of just doing bridal party and family is that it's just the people that you love in the, in the background holding the sparklers and cheering you on. Um, the other thing is that you can save money by just hiring a photographer or videographer for like, not as many hours as you think. Um, so say you can only afford six hours of coverage. Um, with like a faux or controlled exit, you can make that work. You can still get all the photos, you can still get dancing photos. Um, typically during receptions, people start dancing in the very beginning, like right when the dance floor opens, and then they start tapering off. Um, either they get tired or they want another drink, <laughs> which is usually what happens. Um, so then you still get dancing photos and people are actually out on the dance floor. No one's really tired yet. Um, but you're not paying more for the photographer or the videographer to be there because you still get all the photos. Um, let's see. What was my other pro? You don't have, like basically you don't have to watch the clock during your reception. Um, like I said, if you've only can afford six or eight hours, you don't have to be paying attention to the reception. Like, oh crap, I only got one more hour with this photographer, one more hour with this videographer, crap, when, you know, like, we still are dancing, like the party's still going on. You don't have to worry about that. Um, that's not even a concern. You can just party the night away. 
Um, another thing with faux exits are they're easier to do. They take less time. There's less hurting drunk little kittens around. That's what I like to call them. Um, because it's not as many people. It's basically, like I said, if you do your bridal party in your family, maybe that's what, like 20 people tops? Um, unless you have a really large bridal party. Um, but it's 20 people versus like 70 people that you're trying to herd outside and everyone's trying to grab their coats at the end of the night or they're trying to grab all their stuff and they don't realize that they can come back in and get their things. Um, so yeah, that's, it's just easier to do. It's way quicker. We can make it legitimately five minutes or less. Like it takes longer to light the, the sparklers than it does to actually do it. Um, and I say sparklers because that's what a lot of people do. Um, bubbles are becoming really popular and I actually really love the bubble exits. I think they're really fun. Um, mainly because typically brides and bridesmaids have a lot of hairspray and there's a lot of tool and really fancy fabric on their dresses that are really, uh, you know, not fire retardant at all. So sparklers are a little scary, um, which is why I love bubbles. They're a little bit safer. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the people, yeah, so I said this earlier, but if you just do your bridal party and your family, you get the people that you love the most in the photos. Um, I know for my wedding, we did a sparkler exit at the end of the night. We actually did, we did bubbles and sparklers, but we did a sparkler exit at the end of the night. Um, and there are a couple photos where we just have our grandmas both standing, like somehow they both managed to be in there. Um, and it's just our grandmas like waving the little sparkler and I loved it. Um, I think if you do it with everyone at the end of the night, more people are a little bit rowdier, especially if you do an open bar. Um, what was my other note? Hold on, I'm looking at my notes. Yep, okay, so if you do the first option where you do pause the reception halfway through to do a, a controlled faux exit and you do take everyone outside, it is nice for people who maybe are a little bit older, um, who may not be able to party a little bit later like you're planning to. Um, like if your reception's supposed to end at like 11 um, and their bedtime, maybe nine, um, they can still partake if you do take everyone outside. If you do kind of pause and, and take everyone and like, we're just gonna do a sparkler exit and run right back in and keep partying, the people can go home. Or if they have a babysitter, that's also really convenient that they can still feel included, that they still got to do the, the whole shebang and do all the things at the wedding and really partake. And then they're like, well, we gotta get home to the babysitter. Dang it. Um, but anyways, a uh, couple cons that I did write down, but there's only, there's really three, like the pros so outweigh the cons. Um, the first one is that it does kind of interrupt the reception just a little bit. Like I said, kind of take a little pause. Um, and this is something where you can work with your planner, your coordinator, or your photographer on like when exactly this controlled exit happens. Um, but it does interrupt the reception just a little bit, especially if you take everybody. If you just take your bridal party and your family it really doesn't interrupt the reception at all because literally everyone else has no idea that you've even left. Um, they're just, usually they're partying or they're dancing and they're like, oh, and then you come back on the dance floor and they're like, where'd you go? And you're like, well, we did our exit. <laughs> We're back though. <laughs> um, the other con that I did write down is that it is, it's not the real exit. Um, but saying that, it doesn't mean that you don't have, like you can't do a sparkler exit afterwards. Um, like I said, I'm thinking of this in terms of hours of coverage for your photographer and your, and your videographer, um, that they don't have to stay as long, they don't have as much coverage, and again, like you can save quite a bit of money if you just have them come for six or eight hours and that's all you can afford, but your reception is kind of gonna go towards where you really need 10 hours of coverage um, you just do a faux exit and they can go home after eight. Uh, but that doesn't stop you from doing a real exit at the end of the night with everybody where you actually leave. Um, it just means it probably won't be photographed or videographed, except for iPhones and <laughs> everyone else with their, with their selfie sticks that I've seen a lot, or their iPads that I've also seen a lot, um, which can also be really fun. Um, the last con that I really have 
is that it's not quite as dramatic, um, especially if you just do bridal party and family out there. It is not as many people as like the real thing or like the real exit where, you know, again, there's like 70 people lined up with spark, all of them have sparklers or bubbles or streamers or anything. Sparklers are the most common, so I keep saying sparklers. Um, but again, it doesn't stop you from doing the real thing at the very end of the night and really doing a real send off. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm moving Instagram over just a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking at comments now and I'm saying hello to everyone. Um, but yeah, I that was pretty much it. I am such a proponent for controlled info exits. I think they make they make a big difference um, in terms of, I mean, I'm, and I'm thinking of it a little bit more selfishly too. Like I can go home a little bit, a little bit earlier in the night, but also it's a little bit more fun. Um, again, wedding party and family. You take the people you love the most and you go outside for five minutes or less and you do exit you get the beautiful exit photos that you want that you're paying a lot of money for um, but you're still saving a little bit of money by sending your photographer or videographer home a little bit earlier in the night um, and then they can get a head start on doing your sneak preview um, that's always how I think of it I get to go home and uh, work on your sneak preview a little bit and then I get to post it a little bit earlier um, but yeah, that is pretty much all I have about it. Um, if you have any more questions about them or want to talk more about it, feel free to leave a comment in this video or send me an email or shoot me a DM. But yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'm going to end Instagram first. Yup. <laughs>